Good afternoon my friends and happy Wednesday. It's the 12th of January today and I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. Yesterday was a very busy family day celebrating my brother's 40th birthday and I just wasn't up for vlogging so I didn't. So we are back at it today and this morning I've actually just spent my time pouring over a book that is very very exciting it's this one here it is called the unofficial Disney Parks cookbook it is by Ashley Craft and oh my gosh there are some amazing recipes in here that I really want to give a go they look really really good really exciting and I think they're going to taste absolutely amazing there are some really great recipes in here that I would love to like make and share with you in like vlogs and things in the future but I'm going to chat a little bit more about that idea and others in a video that I will do either for tomorrow or the day after. It's going to be like a quilting sewing goals for 2022, kind of almost like a wish list of things that I would like to do on my channel this year and Disney projects and things are going to feature heavily in it. Now I completely understand that there are a lot of people out there who are not into Disney so that's okay I completely understand but I'm going to explain a little bit more about my ideas in that sort of goal video that I will do very very soon for you. So in that video I will talk a little bit more about this but there are some great things in here and I'm excited. This is as close as I am ever going to get to visiting Disney Park anytime soon because of the way the world is at the moment and yeah those adventures going off to Disney Parks is very much far in my future. <laughs> so the goal for today is to make a couple of blocks of my quilty trees quilts. I think saying that I would like to at least complete one row today might be a little bit far-fetched. I mean I have made five or six blocks in a day before so I can easily do it but I think today's goal is to at least get three done. I think we can do three and then after three I'll see if I can do a fourth one and then after the fourth one I'll see if I can do a fifth one. I think that's a good way to look at it. So I'm going to stop chit-chatting and start piecing, start sewing. Let's get the day started. two little blocks on the wall. That's all I've done today. I'm going to do at least one more later on tonight but uh, yay it's always so good to have something on the design wall. I got a very exciting package in the mail. Diddy. Don't worry this isn't my address. It's on the other side. I know what it is but I wanted to open it with you and discover it with you and just be really excited about it. It is a Disney product and I bought it because it was very cheap on sale for what it was. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to treat myself it's like a belated Christmas present to myself, you know? I mean, if I could open the box, this will be a great thing, but yay, I got it. Oh my gosh, he is so sweet. Oh wow, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so sweet. Are we ready for it? Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. This is a beautiful Danielle Nicole 3D, what is, it, what is it? Mini 3D crossbody bag. How sweet is it? Oh my gosh. So, originally, 
Oh, actually, I've seen it for a lot more expensive than that. I've seen it for $130 on another website. But I got this from a place called Zing. People in Australia will know what it is. But usually $78 down to $39, $40 for a leather Danielle Nicole bag is like so cheap. And come on guys, it's Minnie Mouse and it's pink. It's my favorite color with the white flowers. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. The detail is like beyond amazing. I'm so happy with that. That's the front. It's got the bow with her eyes. And it's got little stitching here for her eyelashes. It's got a little 3D nose and this is her mouth here. On the bow it's got some embroidery detail there as well. Sweet. Then at the back it says Danielle Nicole up the top. That's the designer of the bag. It's got a little strap and I'm going to open it. Okay, here we go. So the zipper is just above her head here. Oh, nice and easy to open. But it usually has a really nice sort of lining. Oh, well, this one doesn't. It's just black. That's a bit of a shame. It could have been a little bit nicer. Oh, that is very cool. I am so happy with this. She is so cute. It does kind of seem like a frivolous purchase because I'm currently going nowhere and I have nowhere to go to show this off or to use it. But, um, you know... Why not? I'm sure I'll find a use for this one day, but I love it. The other thing that I got, I actually got it yesterday, was another pop to add to my pop vinyl collection. This is one of the art series Mickeys. The reflection from the window isn't really giving me uh, the best of luck, but this one is the Brave Little Tailor, and it comes with a plastic uh, like case to protect it. I actually have another two in the art series. I've got the Steamboat Mickey and the Conductor Mickey. So now I've got the Brave Little Tailor to add to it. And if you don't know, I collect the pop vinyls. I used to actually collect just lots of different characters and, and things, but I now sort of just narrow it down to Mickey, Minnie, and sort of different Disney type pops. But I mainly concentrate on Mickey and Minnie and sort of like Disney land, well, Disney things. That's just my little Disney haul for the day. I'm so happy with this. I loved it ever since I first saw it. One day I'll go to like a Disney park and I'll have this just, you know, slung across my shoulder. Okay, my friends, it is about quarter to 11 and it's time to say thank you and goodbye for the day. Today has been, I think, pretty productive. I've gotten quite a lot of things done. I've been in a very sewy type mood today. I managed to get three lovely little blocks done. I'm very happy with those. And I've also managed to get, oh there we go, another three little hexes done. So I've done this one and I quite like this one because it's got a Star Wars thing in the middle. It's got C-3PO and R2-D2. Really cool. And then another one that's got like a flower in the middle and some fun little prints around it. So I will add them to my hexy pile of uh, flowers. I have had a couple of people comment that they would like to know how I applique these on to squares to then make them into blocks. For those of you who are new to my channel or are just not aware, I have actually done a tutorial on how to make, it's technically it's a hexi flower quilt label because that's how I label my quilts. I always do a hexi flower, it's like my signature. So I do have a tutorial showing you how to make a hexi flower and then how to turn that into a quilt label. But the process of making it into a quilt label is exactly the same process that you would make to just make it into a normal block. The only thing that I would change is at the end, instead of actually finishing it off by hand using a buttonhole stitch, I would use the sewing machine to applicate on just so it's a little bit more permanent. So if you'd like to know how I make my hexi flowers and then applique them onto fabric. Uh, then I will leave a link up here on the screen. I think it's on that side. And I'll also pop a link in the description box below for you to go check out. But I will do a little bit of an updated like mini tutorial in a vlog soon because there are a few steps that I've sort of 
tweaked since I last did that tutorial. It was a couple of years ago. So yeah, I thought I'd just quickly let you know that. I think that was all I wanted to say before I said goodbye. Tomorrow I am planning on filming a little just sit down chat about some of the quilting and sewing goals and sort of like video ideas and goals I'd like to do this year. All of the things I'll be talking about I will be hopefully planning on vlogging throughout the year. So yeah, I'll do that for you tomorrow. So now as the rain falls gently outside, I'm going to say good night and thank you all so much for coming over and joining me today. I will see you all again tomorrow for another day in my sewing room. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you then. Bye bye!